Hey guys, Didi here, how are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be doing a spring arrangement because I'm craving spring, I'm craving the colours of spring and the warmth of spring and I just want spring here now. <laughs> so I thought that I would do some arrangements and just leave it here as a kind of like tabletop decoration type thing. So I have these two kind of like baskets, these empty baskets which I'm not sure that I'm gonna put the drainage holes in them. They're like plastic lined. I think I'm just gonna leave them as, as is and just fill that up with soil. So I have two of these and then the plants that I have for them are some hyacinths. So if I can grab it, for God's sake. <laughs> so I have two hyacinth bulbs. I think they're pink. I'm hoping that they're pink. So we will see obviously what happens when they grow. And then to go along with it, I have some tet a tet daffodils so these are the miniature daffodils so I did a similar kind of thing last year just the daffodils and some moss so this year I thought I would like add a little bit of variety and put some hyacinths in with it so I'm just going to put these off to the side I have my large tray here with me and then I'm just going to put the bulbs in front of me so I can mix up my soil mixture so I just have some multi-purpose compost and then I got some um horticultural grit that I'm just going to mix in with this and I'm just going to take my shovel I'm not sure how much grit I just went outside and picked up a whole kind of bunch of grit because I wasn't sure how much I needed but we will see and then I'm just going to mix this together because obviously I do want them to have good drainage so I think maybe a little bit more a little bit more like that so I don't know about you guys but yeah the weather has been horrible and gross and I'm just over it and I want spring to be here now. So this is why I'm seeing all like, you, you know, I've got my daffodils here. These ones smell slightly better than the last ones I had, but they're still, they're still not great. They're still not great. So <laughs> I'm again, I, every, I think it's every week, maybe every other week, I go and I buy the daffodils just to see if it's a different variety. If it is, then I'll buy them. So <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for my fragrant ones. I know I'm hoping this year that I will, I will find them so I think that is about the consistency that we want got some drainage in it it's nice and fluffy so this is also pre-moistened because it's just been uh, a little bit wet outside so <laughs> they are a little bit pre-moistened so what I'm gonna do is just I'll make a little gap over here and we're just gonna put in some soil in the bottom okay and then I'm gonna get my first bulb which I know these are probably very rooted in because hyacinths love to root in very well. And obviously these are already, they've come straight from the garden center, or oh, all the roots, some of the roots fell off. Eh, not ideal. Eh. Uh, so they have been already pre-chilled and stuff. So these are ready to go and they should bloom, I guess, I assume in the next couple of weeks. So nope, I need a little bit more soil. So I'm just gonna get the roots in here. And right, so that, and then I'm gonna get my tete tets and we're gonna see how many are in here because I'm gonna, I want like one pot for each basket if that makes sense. So I am gonna separate them and they should be okay. Wow, look at those roots. Whoa, like these are rooted in. I don't know if you guys can see that. Damn, okay, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna obviously, because the, these roots are a bit spiraled, I'm hoping that I can separate them. So we are just gonna gently, <laughs> I'm gonna gently just kind of slowly tease these at the bottom because I don't want to damage these roots but oh my god these are very well rooted in and again it's just so I can gently separate them oh here we go here we go yes lovely okay so I'm gonna put a bunch over here and you want to plant them and I'm just gonna pull the plastic up a little bit so we don't ruin this basket so you do want to plant them at the depth that they have come out of the pot. So obviously I am taking some of the soil off because I want to separate these. But ideally you do want to have them planted at the depth that they came out of the pot. So I'm just going to, with this hyacinth, so it stays in the middle. And then I'm going to make a little well here for the rest of my daffodils. So we've got one, two, three, four, five on this side. Which I need to go a little bit deeper. And then... I'm gonna try it now we'll just keep these on both sides just like that so just like that and then we're just gonna backfill hopefully not making too much of a mess which I am always because I'm not delicate with doing these things <laughs> so 
here we go and then just give it a shake it helps move the soil around just a little bit and I just need to get into little places with my hands just like that so yeah I don't like there you go this bulbs more in the middle now like that <laughs> so I do want the hyacinth to kind of be the the star of the show. Now I have no idea if these are going to actually bloom anywhere in the same time frame. I hope that they will, but if they don't, it's not a big deal. You know, at least we still have something nice and pretty to look like. So uh, look at. So if the hyacinth does bl bloom first, then at least we'll, we have the daffodils to look forward to afterwards, or vice versa. You know. <laughs> so, and then I'm just going to shake this because, of course, I got soil everywhere on this. I'm going to have to come in with a brush and brush all of this excess soil <laughs> off of this basket okay so that is that done and then i have some decorative moss so some decorative reindeer moss that i am just going to open up and i'm just going to cover the top of this with so i'm just going to do that this has got like pine needles and everything in it so they didn't even <laughs> they didn't even clean this when they uh, uh i guess took it from the forest and I wish I had real moss, but I haven't been to that garden, uh, the garden centre where I get real moss to pick any up. So this moss will just have to do. And it's not even really a moss, is it? It's a fungi, but I think it will work out equally as well. If this plastic liner would stay up, it would be great. And again, this soil is moist, so I don't have to water it. But obviously, you do want to keep these well watered. So when you do notice that they are getting a little bit dry, stick your finger in the soil, see, and then just give them a nice little drink because they do like to stay moist, but not wet. Okay, and then I forgot that I have some sticks. Let me grab some of my sticks that I... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of went foraging, so I kind of went foraging the other day to pick some like sticks up that I thought would also look really cool in this. So I'm not quite sure. Uh, I do need my secateurs. I was like, where did I put them? So I'm just going to get my secateurs and I'm just going to, oh god that was tough. Okay, and then again I'm just going to kind of stick these in, just to, hopefully to add just a little bit of Okay, not these ones, because these ones are a bit... Oh, oh, okay, so maybe these ones. So, just gonna... Oh, God. This is hard wood. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of stick it stick it in a little bit at an angle. Just to give it a little bit more interest, I think. Because I just think it needs, it needs a little something else, you know? A little something else. So, maybe... Hmm. You know, I'd love to use this, but obviously this is too big for this, but I can always use that in something else. What the? This is not very good. These are just sticks. <laughs> this is it. And then I got this gorgeous, like, lichen-covered one, which I love, but I'm probably going to use that in a different one, unless... I don't know. I don't know how... How, how would this look if I just kind of... I can't really see what it looks like, to be honest with you. But yeah, I feel like it does need a little bit, a little bit something else. So, let's bring back the stick. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut this one off at the bottom here. And then we are just going to kind of, if the moss wants to get out of the way. So just a little bit. I don't know, I feel like it needs something, something else, but I'm not quite sure. I don't, I put all my pine cones away as well, so I have no pine cones. Hmm, what does it look like? I don't know. So for so far, this is what I have. A little, a little something something. I don't know, it looks a bit weird. But hopefully when it's all in bloom, it will look nice. So that's the first one. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same thing for the next one. And hopefully not make as much of a mess. So again, I'm just going to pull the plastic up, these, there we go, okay. And these make really good gifts as well, so if you don't know, or you know, someone needs a little bit of a cheering up or something, this is like a nice gift to do, that's not very expensive. So these baskets are like something that I 
Um, someone was going to throw them away and I was like, hey, can I have that? And they were like, yes. So that's why I have it because otherwise they would have ended up in the, in the bin. And I was like, hey, I could use that in a project. And this is kind of like what came to my mind. I'm pretty sure I've seen someone do something similar to this. I'm not sure, but that's what, like, what came into my head. And I was like, yes, I want to use that. Please let me have it. And they were like, okay. So that's what I, what I have here. So get out. Oh, again, I love seeing roots like this. Like, I don't know about you guys, but roots like this are gorgeous. So again, and I actually might gift one of these to a friend of mine. So um, you might uh, be receiving this arrangement <laughs> that you've seen me put together and hopefully you will enjoy it. And then obviously once the arrangement's done, you can just take the bulbs out and plant them out into your garden. And so once they've bloomed, they should be ready to go out into the garden wherever you'd like to put them. Okay, so very gently, just teasing these apart. Love that. Okay, there we go. So we have a bit of an odd number. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got a bit of an odd number, but I'm just gonna, again, just arrange them. Maybe, hmm. No, I can't split these anymore. So I'm just gonna leave them like that. So we've got three in this side. So yeah, it's gonna look a little bit weird, but that's all right. And then we're just gonna backfill around that. And then yeah, I do need to get a little brush. This is the only thing I hate about plastic lined things is that the plastic never stays in the place that it should. Whatever. What can you do? But what can you do? You just gotta work with it, right? <laughs> So yeah, if my friend does end up receiving this, I hope you like it. <laughs> oh, and I think my phone shut off and disconnected. Yeah, yes it did, yes, yes it did. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, when, with the watering these, you are gonna have to be a little bit careful because like I said, I don't poke any drainage holes in these. So you do wanna be careful with your watering so as to not, uh, you know, over water and have your bulbs start to rot because that is not what you want. So you are gonna have to be a little bit careful when you water your water and arrangement like this. Give it a little trickle and again you can always just give it some water stick your finger in check the moisture levels and if it's still quite dry at the bottom give it another little drink so you just got to be a little bit more careful with these so these need to go a little bit further down because they were potted a little bit more okay. just like so So I planted these a little bit. I should have done it the other way around, but that's all right. Okay. And obviously you are gonna have to be careful when you water these as well, because, well, I, of a, I don't know if you have the same similar basket to me, or you have any type of basket, it can have a tendency to run off, especially because the plastic falls down and then you've got a bit of an issue and it runs out of the bottom. So if you do water these, if you have a basket like this, uh, you know, water it in your sink just in case the water comes out of the bottom, which is more than likely to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm foreseeing the future is definitely going to happen. Okay, and then we're going to get our moss. And this is just moss that I've picked up at the like hobby craft store. They have a lot of this kind of like reindeer moss. They usually have some of the other moss as well, but when I went, they were out of stock. So this is the only one that they have. And I kind of like this. I kind of like the reindeer. Uh, well, moss, the reindeer fungi. It's like nice and spongy, and I think it's just like, you can get it in loads of different colors as well, so that's why I really like this as well. So yeah, just gonna fill in the gap so you can't really see the soil. There is a big ass piece of a leaf <laughs> we don't want in there. Okay, and right, and then I wish I could somehow like get this in here like that. And then okay so my battery died i've lost the light uh my card was also full so i think i left it where i was placing these sticks in the arrangement so this is what i have so far so obviously these can be um 
you know, I can reuse these baskets and everything. I feel like there is something missing, I just don't know quite what it is at the moment. So yeah, what was I saying? I feel like there is something missing, I just, I don't know what it is at the moment, so if I, like, come up with something, then maybe I will add it and I will, you know, take a picture and, like, update you guys, but uh, for so far, I think that's kind of cool. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, <laughs> because it is quite backlit, but I think this looks pretty... Yeah, so I'm just gonna shake this, <laughs> shake this as well to get some of that soil off, but oh, and the branch fell out. So don't shake this too much because then this will fall out. Uh, and I just think it's a really cool looking branch to be honest, which is ki kind of why I wanna have it in here. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it like this, hopefully. Uh, again, you can faff around with it, like change how it looks, the orientation, but I think it looks pretty okay for now. Like I said, I do wanna add a little bit of something, but I just, I'm not sure what it is. So if you have any suggestions to make this look a little bit more cute, cool. Uh, I might probably will be doing one of these for um, like spring and well not for spring. I'll probably be doing one of these for Easter and then see what kind of bulbs I can get for Easter. I'm sure there'll be some around. And I feel like I have to like look through the branches now. So yeah, the this is this one and then what can I grab the other one? This feels really heavy just because they are wet. And then I'm just gonna kind of place them side by side like that. So these are the two arrangements that I've just come up with at the moment. Uh, I hope you guys like it <laughs> and. Yep, so I hope you guys just, oh, I'm making a mess everywhere. So I hope you guys like it. And let me just spin that around <laughs> a bit more. Maybe you can see a little bit better. I don't know why it doesn't want to stay on this side. There we go. All right, so I hope you guys like these arrangements. It's just something really uh, easy to do. Again, I will be looking forward to the spring, looking forward to having these bloom, and then you get, you know, a little bit of fragrance from the hyacinth, and then you just got your cute little daffodils. So I am looking forward to that because it just makes me feel like, you know, Something to look forward to that's really happy and brings me so much joy because, you know, plants and flowers and all of that, I love having that. And I've just noticed that my amaris has, like, decided to fall over for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Hello? Okay. Mm, need to fix that afterwards. But yeah, it's, it's just something, like, really joyful and fun to look forward to. And, it, and again, these would make a really good gift. So if you know anyone that needs a little bit of cheering up and, you know, the winter dark days need to be over, then this is something to give them. Okay, so do all the things. Like, subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. Otherwise, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you guys soon with another one. Bye!